uh, reporter who wielded those very powerful words sent some choice words my way as I'm well. I'm curious about that. What did she say? So, and, and I want to share this um, because I think this gives us an insight into the caliber of the person who held that nuclear weapon uh, that was wielded on Ansari's career. The caliber of this 22-year-old young woman. And I'm only going to read a slight part of her comments to me. And I assume she fashions herself a feminist in this movement. Uh, Ashley, someone who I'm certain no one under the age of 45 has ever heard of. I hope the 500 retweets on the single news write-up made that burgundy lipstick, bad highlights, second wave feminist has been really relevant for a little while. That's from Katie Way, who was on CBS this morning, uh, yesterday morning. And I think the reason I want to share that is because mm. If you truly believe in the Me Too movement, if you truly believe in women's rights, if you truly believe in feminism, the last thing you should do is attack someone in an ad hominem way for her age, I'm 50, and for my highlights, I was brown haired for a while when I was a war correspondent interviewing Yasser Arafat and in Afghanistan and Iraq, Gaza and the West Bank, Google those places. That is not the way we have this conversation as women or men. We don't attack, as journalists, let's be frank. Right. We do not attack people for their age or their highlights or their lipstick because it is the most hypocritical thing mm. a woman who says she supports the woman's movement could ever do. And that's the caliber of the woman who was given all of this power and was able to wield this power.